thank you very much uh, to the University of Minnesota, the Humphrey School of Public Affairs, and really all of you. Uh, I try to be very specific in how I define community. It's when people intentionally behave like they belong together. And I think tonight is a manifestation and really epitomizes what community means. So thank you. Give yourself a round of applause. So Hubert Humphrey said in one of his many great famous quotes, to be realistic today is to be visionary. To be realistic is to be starry-eyed. That is what our company aspires to be. We aspire to live up to that visionary and starry-eyed quote. In our business, our vision is to deliver smart models for building, transforming, and sustaining healthy communities. Now, I had someone here tonight, I think Sandy Vargas actually asked me, what does smart mean? So smart is very specific. It's where science meets art. It is. What we call the intersection of intuition and cognition, of what's in your gut, your spirit, and your experience mixed with data and advanced analytics. Now to build, transform, and sustain healthy communities inside of those smart models, of course people know that we build place and space like this, places where people can congregate because we still believe that we're social no matter the virtual environments and governed by thermodynamic law. There is actually an energy transference and value in being in close proximity with one another. So we build places and spaces that are safe, high quality, comfortable, and of course cool, because we want them to be appealing. But building place and space can't happen until we first build relationship. So the first piece that we build is relationship, defined by hope, effort, and trust. When we build those relationships and build the places and spaces that we're proud of, the outcome is to build wealth. And we try to do that, yes, for our stakeholders and executives, but all of our employees, and more importantly, for those local communities where we tangibly put things in the ground for livable wages on a job creation basis and a career basis, for entrepreneurial opportunities, which is actually a greater accelerator to wealth creation. Our goal is to not just build economic wealth, because we found that that's a lagging indicator to your stewardship in the other areas of our humanity. So we want to build spiritual health and wealth. We want to build physical health and wealth. We want to build emotional health and wealth. We want to build mental health and wealth. In that process of building, we can then transform communities, healthy communities. That transformation happens by transforming, transforming perceived deficits and liabilities. And those deficits and liabilities can show up in a geographic sense, in a people sense, or in a complex problem sense. We want to transform those perceived deficits and liabilities into assets and solutions. We want to transform the illusion of rugged individualism into the wisdom of cooperative modeling. We want to transform the perception of difference into the realization of commonality. Once we've transformed, then we can lead to sustaining the effort. And we're all lucky, because sometimes you have to manufacture that challenge. But in the age that we're in, you don't have to. So I say we sustain by focusing on the big challenges. We sustain by making sure that we prioritize values. We don't treat them softly. We treat them as the foundation of behavior and decision making. And we sustain by focusing on short and long-term impacts. Yes, we are visionaries. Yes, we are starry-eyed because we want to continue to build and deliver smart models for building, transforming, and sustaining healthy communities. And we couldn't do it without all of you. So thank you. Who could ask for a more powerful CEO? <laughs> you know, I'm born and raised here, been in business for 38 years, and I'd like to acknowledge our team. We have team members 
Emmett back there, our authority. But would you please all stand? Part, part of the people that make us proud. You know, um, 30 years ago, a corporation had the vision to bring us on board, and that was Medtronics, one of the early pioneers that believed in Thor construction. And I would be remiss if I didn't acknowledge Medtronic tonight. <laughs> Tom Holleran was a friend, Bill George was a friend, it goes on and on. And also, it was said that we built Target stores. Great customer, great customer for us. <laughs> Thank you, Target stores. Thank you for this acknowledgement and this award this evening.